does that sign say? You don't have your passport? We need passports? Shit. You don't need passports to get into Mexico, but you I, need I them to get out? we just needed our driver's licenses. Well, I guess you were wrong. No, give it when we came into Mexico. They just waved us through. Well, maybe you should have done some research before you kidnapped me and dragged me into another country for some stupid, illegal adventure. Sure, so nothing's ever your fault. Oh, so how is this on me? Oh, don't worry, it's not. No, because the whole universe is conspiring against you, and you can just blame one of us dramatic girls for, for ruining your life. The truth is, you know, things were a lot easier before you showed up. <laughs> Screw you, Brandon. Callie! What do you expect? You just Callie. were very Callie. rude to her. I think she's not being rude to him. Well, what are you but... gonna do? Walk home from Mexico? Or, or maybe you could just call your new boyfriend and come pick you up, huh? What are you talking about? Just saying. There is a new foster brother in the house. There's nothing going on between me and AJ. <laughs> I'm not blind, Callie. Actually, I think you are, Brandon. Are you walking around thinking you're some victim? You know, acting like the world is out to get you? You don't see the drama that you create? Right? You were the one who turned up to Girls United and got yourself a restraining order. You were the one who started selling fake IDs that got your hand crushed. You were the one who plagiarized Bach and then got kicked out of Idlewild. Okay? Yeah. If you're really worried about the drama in your life, Brandon, look at the common denominator, okay? It's you. You gonna tell me how to talk to cops, huh? <sighs> My grandma already schooled me on that, all right? Hands on the steering wheel, never resist. Yes, sir. No, sir. Let them look through whatever you got and lie down like a dog because you ain't no better than one. Don't say that. Why not? It's the truth. It's how the black man gets treated by cops. You should know. Well, I may be a cop, but I'm also your foster father. No, you ain't. Okay, well, I'm gonna be. Why? Why are you even doing this? I'm trying to help you, AJ. You don't know how to help me, Mike. You got no idea what it's like to be living down to the low expectations society has for you. Foster kid? Black kid? I must be headed for gangs, drugs, jail. I've been hearing it so long, I'm starting to wonder if they're right. They're not right, AJ, and you should stop listening to those people right now. Except there's a lot more of them and only one of me. Not anymore. Now there's two. And this cop sees a bright, talented, decent young man. This cop's not going to let you live down to anybody's expectations. You understand me? Come here. All you need is someone who believes in you. Someone you can count on, and I'm going to be that person. You know why? Because I have to believe in a world where a kid like you gets a real chance. That's why I'm doing this, AJ, okay? Let it out. You didn't mess up my life, Kelly. I did. It's just easier to blame you for it. And if I'm being honest, I was kind of relieved that I'd well kick me out. And if I could blame Kat, then it wasn't my fault. I was so close to something so huge. And I was too scared to do something about it. Except today you jumped, Brandon. Passport. Hello, officer. Um, so it looks like we did something really stupid. Hey, they made it. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you know, How did you get back in the country with no passports? Play dumb. Well, that couldn't have been hard. <laughs> there will be consequences that we talk about later, but right now, Brandon, you have a visitor in the kitchen. Hey. Oh no. To you, huh? It's him. Tom. <laughs> Tony. Um, I forget. Look, if, if this is about what I said about you and Cat setting me up, I'm sorry. I, I really thought that... Uh, Dude, that... I get it. And I said what a raw deal I thought you got. And he said, if you want, he'd be willing to take you on. So that means I'm, I'm back in? When couples break up, it usually means mm. I don't get paid until the lawyers are all done. What? Why? You think Lena and I are breaking up? Why would you... Look, if you prefer, we could talk about an escrow account. I should show you how serious this is. Say, it seems that Oscar got a lot of work. That a stranger <laughs> thinks you guys are gonna break up with all the arguing. If you feel that uh, that a third party would help us, then um, 
I guess I'm up for some couples counseling. Wow, that's a surprise. <laughs> You're telling me. What changed your mind? <sighs> Honestly, um... Our new contractor seems to think our marriage is in trouble. He was scared though, right? Way more scared than <laughs> <laughs> Well, the next time you're looking for a venture, you ought to knock on my door. Hey, Jay, you're my foster brother. I can't. Okay. Well, what about when I'm not? Not when you're... When I'm moving with Mike. Um, then I guess we will cross that bridge. When we get to it. Oh, is that his... Please let that be his brother. Hello? He's alive. I hope he doesn't run off though, but I'm glad that his brother called him. So that's that's something. I mean, we already knew he was alive um, at least two days ago because he visited their grandmother. But uh, anyway, that was the end of the episode. Um, I'm just gonna, first I'm just gonna talk about Kelly and AJ. I actually think they look quite cute together. Um, I don't want them to be a thing right now. I want them to wait if they're going to be a thing for him to be living outside the house with Mike. Um, but I am a little worried that now that his brother's contacted him, they, you know, he's going to try and run off and meet his brother so they can be together. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, it was very sad with AJ. In this episode, dealing with his grandmother, um, did I, I forget what they said she had. Is it dementia? Something like that? I don't know. It's just memory loss. Um, her not remembering him and mixing things. I don't know. It's just really sad. And I've never had to deal with that, um, luckily, in my life so far. Um, but... I don't know how I would deal with something like that. Like a loved one, like a grandmother or my mother or father um, not remembering me. That'd be very heartbreaking. Um, also, AJ dealing with uh, society's, I guess, um, expectations of foster kids and, uh, you know, black kids or just black people in general and and I know the world is a horrible place um the way people think of other people because of the color of their skin um or even gender or their sexual orientation and just people are horrible and I wish the world wasn't like it is I wish everybody was just like, accepting of everyone else and we could live happy and in peace but that's just not the way the world works and we have to deal with stupid people and it sucks um but i'm glad that aj has mike and mike is like not letting aj push him away you know he fought through that like when aj was like you know trying to push him away and mike fought through it and uh um broke him a little bit not in a bad way but you know AJ broke down and cried and they hugged it out and everything so I really like that and uh, I hope that AJ is going to stick around and um, let Mike foster him and help him uh Kelly and Brandon were very smart and Brandon could have at any moment gotten out of the car or called his mom's and let them know what Callie was trying to do so him trying to put all the blame on Callie wasn't fair to Callie and some of the things he was saying was very unfair and yeah she was being kind of bitchy too um but he was trying to blame her instead of taking any kind of responsibility and uh I'm glad they got it out and that Brandon's come to face reality um his choices and that you know he's brought in a lot of chaos on himself and it's not always somebody else's fault, you know? And uh, 
but they were still very stupid <laughs> for going to Mexico without parents or their passports, which I've never left the country, so I don't really know the rules about going in and out. I've thought you would need a passport both ways, but I guess that's not the case, or maybe that was just in this show. I don't know, but uh, I don't know what it says <laughs> that the fact that they were allowed to leave without the passport, they just the not not them but the people who let them through the authorities so that's not good i wonder if that actually happens um but i don't know um lena and steph are finally starting to face reality about their relationship steph is still making decisions without lena and Lena is still fed up with it, and she's not feeling heard, and she suggested therapy, which, in honesty, I think they need, but it sounds weird for me to say that because I don't. I'm like Steph. I don't want a third party meddling in my relationship I'm like I'm, I'm like her I don't see why we need a third person who has no idea what's going on in either person's life but I kind of get it I guess because you know they can't if they don't know what's going on then they can't really pick a side and so they're like they said neutral and so I kind of get it a little bit but it I'm still kind of like Steph and I don't like people that I don't even know meddling into stuff um, in my life. I don't know. I think they need it, definitely. Um, I still think Lena needs to come clean about her kiss. Um, even if she didn't initiate it, she didn't stop it. And uh, she's still at fault, no matter whether or not Monty's gay or not. Uh, as she was talking about in the previous episodes, like, if you're gay, then I have to tell, but if you're straight, then I don't have to say anything. <laughs> you need to tell, okay? I'm just saying. Um, I'm, if I'm thinking that's probably gonna come out in therapy. So we also have Mariana coming clean to her Steph and Lena about having sex because she, she kind of was forced into it because they were like all freaked out that, uh, Callie was pregnant and she went to Mexico with Brandon because he was the father and they were getting an abortion and, and stuff. And initially I thought they were they were thinking that Brandon and Callie were going to get married because, uh, you know, I guess maybe I don't know how the laws work in Mexico. I don't know if that is even something that you can get married at any age or at their age, I would say, uh, without parental consent or whatever. Um, but... Anyway, they just they thought she was going to get an abortion. And uh, so Ka uh, Mariana was forced into telling. And I think it would have been better if she had told them, like set them down and told them um, instead of the way it happened in this episode because they were all freaked out, you know, over what they thought might be going on with Callie. And then she just, you know, comes out and is like, no, it's me. You know, it's my pregnancy test. You know, it's just like emotions were like really high and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think it would have been better if she had told them in a calmer situation, but that's just not the way it happened. Um, but they, they talked and, uh, told her, you know, they want her to love herself and, they just don't feel like she's loving herself right now because of the decision that she made to have sex with Wyatt because Matt didn't want to and she just wanted to lose her virginity. And that's not a good reason to have sex. Um, you know, you don't, it's like they said, sex is important every time you do it and just to have sex for the sake of having it is not a good reason. And it could actually be very bad decision depending on who you decided to do it with what you know about them whether you use protection even with protection it doesn't protect you from everything and yeah you could get some very bad consequences 
uh, firm decisions made just for the sake of making it. So um, anyway, I'm just glad that they worked it out and and all that stuff. And hopefully Mariana is going to start to feel better. I hope she comes clean to Callie. Yeah, Callie's probably going to be upset, but over time, I'm sure that, you know, she'll forgive her and everything will be fine. I'm sure she'll be really angry at Wyatt, um, but she should be because Wyatt should have known better. I mean, he he's as much his fault as Mariana, so he deserves to be yelled at too. Um, oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.